Welcome to Sisters International. Please remember to like and subscribe our channel and then you will be updated with all the useful information that we're putting on our platform for those who are coming to live in the Gambia and those who already live in the Gambia. Now today I am out and about. I'm actually at the tax office in um, Gunjo, the local tax office. I've come to pay my yearly taxes. If you have a compound or a land in the Gambia, every year you have to pay your taxes. Now your taxes is from January to January of every year. Now your taxes are relatively, they're not very expensive. So you will be asked to pay 150 delassi, 150 delassi for empty land. That is your empty land taxes. Now if it's 72 delassi to the pound, you do the maths. It's not very expensive. So 150 delassi for empty land. If you have a house on there, it's an extra 25 delassi. So for every house, it's an extra 25 delassi. So a land with a house, 175 delassi. A land with two houses, 200 delassi, and so on. So you might say, well, how do they contact me? Because if you don't pay your taxes for three years, they will remind you. How do they contact me, V? How do they send me a reminder? Well, when you pay your taxes, you leave a telephone number with them, whether it's international or in the Gambia, they will phone you or message you and contact you and say, hey, remember, you need to pay your taxes. If you still don't pay your taxes for three years, what will happen is the tax office will send a invoice to the Al Carlo. So your local Al Carlo will receive an invoice. Now that invoice goes to the Al Carlo messenger, yeah, or bird messenger. Now every area, every Al Carlo has a bird messenger. That bird messenger knows all the compounds within the area. So they will say, yes, I know Janet's house. I'm going to go to Janet and give her this invoice to pay. So the bird, bird messenger goes to Janet gives her the invoice or gives the compound the invoice and says this needs to be paid. I think they give you one month, 28 days to pay that invoice. And correct me please if I'm wrong in the comments below. If you do not pay that invoice, then you can be summonsed. And again, the summons is sent via the bird messenger. At this point, you will need to then pay the summons cost, the cost for the bird messenger, and a fee to the local chief or CFO, as well as your back taxes for the last three years or so. Yeah? So then you might say, well V, what happens if I still don't pay my taxes? If you don't pay your taxes, there's something called the council police. And in this area, the council police is based in Brakama. They can send the council police then to your property and you can be arrested for not paying your taxes. And you can be held until all your back taxes have been paid. So what I'm saying is, pay your taxes. If you have land in the Gambia or you have a compound in the Gambia, January to January, pay your taxes and you'll be given an electronic receipt. Take a picture of your receipts and keep them or copy your receipts because they are on receipt paper and sometimes the ink fades. So keep a copy of all your receipts and it, you will be in the system. Your name will be in the system paying your yearly taxes for your compound or your home. So I hope this has been useful. If you've got any questions or if I've said anything that needs clarification or adding, please add to the comments below. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, Sisters International.